might need, depending on where you are. John Trable has been actively tracking the storm, and it's here, John. Good morning. Yep, definitely a busy morning out there. A lot of rainfall coming down across the Bay Area currently. You can see this wet view of San Francisco right now. Things out there are going to stay this way for a while, too. Low pressure area to the west of us. This part of that storm system that will bring us continued rainfall, not just this morning, but as we roll through the rest of the day, too. Where we're sitting currently, we do have some heavier showers pushing right onto the peninsula. Going to start with the North Bay here. 101 from Marin County all the way up to Mendocino County is wet the entire way, and we've seen pockets of heavy rainfall during your Nova overnight hours into this morning. So that is certainly resulting in a few ponded areas on the roads. Make sure to take it slow, especially through 101 in Marin County, where we got those low-lying areas that tend to get that water stacked up. Look at this. Rainfall really picked up on the western edge of San Francisco right now. Marin County, Golden Gate Bridge, on over into the city, as well as down the peninsula towards San Mateo. Those areas of yellow, orange, red, indicating that heavier rainfall. That's going to push on over both the San Mateo and Bay Bridge, on into the East Bay shoreline here in short order. Concord on out towards Pittsburgh, also having seen some heavier rain. And the South Bay, you're starting to see it picking up on the western end of the Santa Clara Valley from Los Altos down through Santa Clara into San Jose, and then on up towards Fremont and Union City, also coming down pretty good. So it is widespread. You get the picture this morning. We're all looking at rainfall. We all do have wet conditions on roads. Just take it a little slower out there. As we move through the late morning, you can see that we'll We'll continue to see these areas of heavy rain at times. Towards 9 a.m., I mentioned this a moment ago, we are going to get some breathers in there. Pockets of rain still continuing through late morning, just not as widespread. We'll see a resurgence just into the afternoon. Right here around 1 p.m., heavy rainfall pushes back in. So expect some heavy rain, strong winds just after your lunchtime. And then seeing another little break here and there as we move into the evening. Tomorrow's going to stay pretty active. It's off and on showers tomorrow. You will have breaks tomorrow, but pockets of heavy rain as well well as we make our way through your Tuesday and even into your Wednesday. Today, we'll see as much as three quarters of an inch to an inch of rainfall. We're going to see more into Tuesday and Wednesday, and it's all going to add up to some pretty impressive amounts. The Sierra Nevada at the very crest of the Sierra, one to two feet of snowfall is expected. We don't have any advisories for I-80 itself, but we do have a winter weather advisory just north of I-80 as you head up towards and past Nevada City and Grass Valley. And then we do have a winter storm watch that'll take effect tomorrow right around Yosemite National Park. Temperatures today will be on up into the upper 50s to low 60s. It is going to be a fairly mild one for your Monday. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll continue with the same temperature trend. Showers will continue off and on and even a chance of a roll of thunder or two. Thursday starts our trend of drier weather and into the weekend, we've actually got a really pleasant but cool forecast. For the roads right now,